What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel where today I will be taking you through the next two to three days of my last ever exam of my undergraduate degree. It's essentially my last week of university officially, which is scary to think about because I've been at my university for four years. If you guys want to check out my final week at university vlog, um, it is the video previous to this, so go check that out if you want. But yeah, this is my last ever exam, my last ever kind of assignment or piece of work for my degree. And I will be taking you guys through how I approach it um, and just the process of how I approach coursework. It is a 48 hour unseen um, closed book exam and it is for my social psych module um, which previously um, for the first exam it's a, it's a two part exam module so the first exam I scored my highest ever grade in it I got 100% in the second part and 90% in the first part totaling 95 um, that is my highest ever exam to date um, and my highest ever grade to date so hopefully I can manifest the same vibes into this exam and end this whole degree on a high. So yeah, I'm just gonna have my breakfast and take you guys through what I do um, during the exam season, I guess, uh, just to look back on and see what I did during this time. So the exam gets released at 12 p.m. midday and it is currently 10, 15 a.m. So I have a couple hours, just under a couple hours to kind of just chill, relax for a bit. And then at 12 p.m. we'll see what questions get released. And the premise of this exam is you have a few um, articles, uh, newspaper articles, um, and they're about certain topics that we have learnt during our lectures and you have to kind of write about the tools or mechanisms or theories that are being implemented within those articles, um, so social psych theories, and explain um, how those behaviours or anything like that, um, essentially how the theory explains what is happening in the article. Yeah that's the premise of it um, and you have to do two of those essays it's gonna be pretty intense but we will get through this and also it's a lovely spring look at all these lovely flowers it's gorgeous outside I'm going to go have my breakfast and uh, chill for a bit and then we will approach the questions when they do get released breakfast of champions right here Cheerios in milk ignore that this is um, so there was adhesive then it got stuck to the table um, but yeah breakfast of champions right here whole wheat or whole grain cheerios delicious <laughs> oh and a cup of tea of course can't go wrong with tea <laughs> I figured while I'm here as well, just having my breakfast, I will share you with you. Uh, I'll share with you guys some thoughts, feelings, emotions, the rundown right now. Uh, seeing as it is my technical last week of my degree, I hope you guys can hear me too. The birds are really loud right now, <laughs> um, and there's like bees and stuff buzzing around because of the flowers. I don't really know how to feel. I handed in my dissertation, I think, three weeks ago. And then last week I had my intellectual disabilities exam, which was intense. I think that to date that has been the most grueling exam across my entire degree since first year, which is a lot to say because I didn't enjoy um, a couple of my exams that come to mind or a couple of assignments that come to mind that were like equally as bad. But last week's one was just grueling. I don't know if it was because of the quantity because we had to write three separate like short essays. Um, so it's like three separate sets of research, um, but yeah, it was just absolutely grueling. I did not like it one bit. That was last week, um, and then now, um, five days later, is it five? No, hold on, it's less than five days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. no, it's five days. Five days later, um, it is this exam. <laughs> so I had a little bit of a break. I went swimming yesterday, so that was a nice kind of clearing of the head. I also went rollerblading on the weekend which was great. I had a lot of fun um, because I hadn't rollerbladed in I think a year. Um, so that was really fun. I'm gonna pick that up again over the summer. I ordered a helmet and everything so I could like really get into it. Yeah so as far as how I'm feeling right now I'm feeling nervous but I'm also feeling like ready to like just get it over and done with. 
and just get on with it, I guess. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do after this exam because pretty much the last month has been like you're working towards something. So for the first two weeks of the past four weeks just gone, I was working towards finishing my dissertation. Then just before last week, I was working towards the intellectual disabilities exam. Then up until now, I was working towards this exam. So this being the last ever piece of like coursework, assignment, exam, whatever, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Um, I'm kind of just at home now and also you can't really apply for jobs or anything like that because we don't have our degree class yet, we don't have our transcript, like our full transcript, nothing like that. So I can't even apply for jobs or like get working or anything like that because I don't technically have a degree yet, even though I would have finished. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I, I guess I'll find something to do. I'll take up more sports or something. <laughs> I'm kind of just feeling like in a weird, empty, void kind of mood right now. Like I'm happy that this is the last exam. I'm also nervous for this exam, but I'm also just like, what next? What is next for me? <laughs> and I know things will naturally fall into place, but like it's just the whole wondering of like what's happening now. So yeah. That's where I'm at. That's kind of the lowdown. Um, that's pretty much it for now. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna eat my Cheerios and sit alone with my thoughts. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. It's been released. So the questions have been released. Um, it is a lot of pages. 31 pages worth of articles um, so I'm gonna read through this so typically how my system works for exams like this is read through all of the articles um, kind of decipher what each one is saying so the theory or topic attached to each one um, and then from there just decide which two that I feel confident in explaining um, so that's what I'm gonna do now and then after that I make my detailed essay plan, which is the majority of the 48 hours. Um, so I make my detailed essay plan and then I write out like every single paragraph in detail, like the breakdown of what I want to go into that paragraph with the research and everything like that. And um, that is all in my essay plan. And then I type up my answer after, which only takes, um, like it pretty much all gets done in half a day, um, the typing up stage because everything um, content and knowledge wise is already consolidated in my essay plan so the essay plan is like the most time consuming part um, but today I'm just going to go through this and start branching out the theories for each one and then either start the essay plan today or tomorrow morning I haven't decided yet but that's what I'm gonna do so just gonna read through this and see what each one is talking about. So I have selected one of the two articles that I'm going to do. Um, I have provisionally selected the second one too, but I haven't made any plans or annotations yet. But the first one I'm going to do is about bystander apathy and bystander intervention. So essentially the article details someone um, in need of help within a public setting and no one helped him until someone else stood in and helped after. 
Um, so essentially everyone was around him, no one did anything. And then until another person came in and helped him, that's when people started to engage and started to help. So I'm going to be writing about the bystander apathy effect and bystander intervention, and then just bring in the loads of different like models, like social learning, is it so? Yeah, social learning theory, um, social identification and maybe the biological aspects too um, and then the sociocognitive model too um, then the second one that I was leaning towards is prejudice and discrimination um, I haven't read the article in depth I kind of just skim read to get a feel for the topics um, and I think it's about racism and limited opportunities um, so essentially prejudice um, um, prejudice attitudes um, which should be pretty easy to write about because again it's similar theories um, social identification in group out group that kind of thing um, and maybe schema theory too for a cognitive aspect but um, yeah shouldn't be too bad but um, I chose those two because all the other ones I just I don't like um, I was reading through and it, they just don't correlate in my head I can't create a fathomable answer from any of them um, so yeah, <laughs> not, not a great start, um, but I have just been here just making my annotations and things like that, labeling the articles, um, and just going through seeing what I can use and what is red herrings to distract me. Um, so I have labeled it, deciphered the kind of models and things I want to use, and now I'm going to create an essay plan. So in my head, I was going to do just, um, annotations and everything for both articles and plans for both articles but instead I'm going to do what I did for my exam last week which was go through the article or the stem uh, create the plan just for that one and write that up and then move on to the next one I think that might work a little better or I might do this one like the uh, one article then one essay plan then the next article then the next essay plan and then write the both up together. I haven't decided yet, but I'm leaning towards kind of like an ABAB structure. For those of you who don't understand that, just ignore me. It's just my head. It's the way the cogs turn. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, that's where I'm at at the moment. So I will reconvene with you guys when I get into doing anything of substance. But at the moment, I'm still just kind of going through and consolidating my knowledge and kind of spitballing ideas of what I want to write because I still don't know the structure of this assessment. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be, um, or I know what I'm supposed to be writing. I don't know how I'm supposed to be formulating it. So I think I just need to go through the structure one more time and see kind of where I want to put everything essentially. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, before I get into making one of my essay plans, I'm gonna go and make a coffee because I'm falling asleep. Um, so I'm gonna go make a coffee and then get into the zone and really start creating my essay plans. Oh, Lynx is inside. Hello, Lynxy. For those of you who don't know, Lynx is my cat. Here he is. Hello, sir. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a coffee, a very large cup of coffee, and just go from there, I guess. See what we can get done. After reading through the article, I'm not too scared about it now, content-wise. However, I am uh, hesitant, I guess you could say, um, with regard to the word count, because now I have a lot that I want to say. Um, regarding my article because there are so many theories and so many models that you can apply and the primary model that I'm supposed to be using or I'm encouraged to be using I don't really like that much compared to the ones I'm thinking of applying but then if I use that model that I'm thinking of in my head in this essay I can't use it in the second essay which I need so I'm kind of gonna have to find my work around um, my loophole through that but I will find it, I will do this, I will get through it, and we will persevere. <laughs> but that's where I'm at at the moment, so I'm gonna have a coffee and get started with the detailed essay plan, which should take me into the late evening, I am presuming. <laughs> 
This is so cool. I'm gonna take a picture of where you guys are right now. So yeah, you guys are um, on my Gorilla Pod, um, wrapped around a cupboard handle, which is quite cool because I've never been able to kind of get these shots before. So that's really, really funny. This is my coffee setup. Um, I just have any like coffee travel mug. I use travel mugs instead of mugs um, because at my desk it's quite small and I don't want to accidentally knock something over and pour it all over my laptop, which, oops, <laughs> which I know, um, could happen with these mugs too, like you could just knock it over and it could spill. Um, but I feel like there's less um, risk with a travel mug compared to an actual mug. And I drink filter coffee or drip coffee. Um, so this is my filter, it's wet because it's just been washed. Um, so it is the Hario 01 um, filter, which is a very cheap, um, very good filter. Um, I think I got it for five pounds and it came with a coffee scoop. So I got the plastic one here, but I know they also sell a glass one, but the plastic one is pretty much the same thing and it's cheaper. So I have the Hario 01 coffee filter and I don't use paper filters because I don't see what's the point in using single use uh, filters when you can just get something like this, which is a reusable filter. It's made out of this kind of like cloth material. It came in a three pack for I think six pounds. So very, very good. Um, but yeah, I use a reusable coffee filter. Then I got this coffee whisker or this milk frother um, from Ikea. And then this is my coffee. Um, so that's the scoop that came with the Hario. Um, and I keep my coffee in here as opposed to the bag that I came with because one, I didn't have any like bag clips to keep it airtight. So I just threw it in here. And two, um, this is just easier to scoop out of compared to like the thin, uh, coffee bag, so I use this. Also, I forgot to tell you what grounds I'm using. So I'm using a Colombian mix or Colombian blend coffee. Um, it's actually my second bag. I really like the flavor. It's not too strong. Um, I think it's a strength four or a strength three. So pretty, um, like it's strong enough to like wake you up, but it's not strong enough to like put you off. Like I have a French press, uh, not a French press, sorry. I have a French roast in the cupboard too that I bought alongside this just because I wanted to try it. And it is terrible. It is, it's so bad, it's so strong. It, it tastes like something you would have like if you have no taste buds, it's horrible. Um, so I don't use that, um, but I probably will use it when I need like an insane boost of caffeine, like if I'm going on a road trip or something. So you just saw me add sugar into hair, then you put the drip filter on with the filter paper or the reusable filter and add one scoop of the coffee beans or not coffee beans, sorry, coffee grounds. So um, this is, I think it's a medium course. Um, I don't know. I just buy whatever grounds it is and use the filter. Um, and the Hario has like measurement lines inside, but I just fill it to the top um, because I'm not too fussed. Then you put it in, you make a little well like that. Then you get your boiling water, pour it into the well and do it in a circular motion. I'm just using a regular kettle. Um, I don't see the point in buying a pour over kettle. I mean, you do you if that's what you want to do, but I just don't see the point um, when a regular kettle does the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, just let that drip through. So on the first pour, you'll get these walls on the side. Um, so then for this next pour, you pour it around those walls to get those grounds off. So you pour it on the sides of those walls. And then I also tend to like spin it around like this and then tap which some people say not to do, but I just do it. I mean, I don't really care. It, it tastes good to me. At the end, that should leave you with a flat bed of coffee grounds at the bottom. I also add milk, so I'm gonna get that. So you can see now it's all pretty much dripped down and it's a very flat coffee bed. That's all dripped down. I kind of just give it a last little squeeze to really extract all of that flavor um, and then this, you just dump it out and wash the coffee filter. Add a little bit of milk, give that a nice blend. Nice, now to get you guys down. Oh, you're kind of wedged in. There we are, coffee secured. Time to work. I'm really dreading this assessment, but this time next week, 
I will be over and done with with my undergraduate degree. And as sad as it is to say, I'm ready to be done with it. I'm sure I won't be saying that um, when I'm in a job um, and missing times like this. But for the moment, right now, I'm not looking forward to the next two and a half days of my life. <laughs> because it is going to be intense. writing I was kind of just putting it into words just to get it on the page um, but I wasn't confident in what I wrote so I need to really go through it tomorrow and start my second essay tomorrow too yeah that's where I'm at at the moment also I am very sick right now um, after I wrapped up doing work for tonight um, I just had like the shivers um, my ears ached, my throat hurts, I've lost my sense of taste, um, <laughs> so that's not good. I'm hoping it doesn't compromise me too much tomorrow when I'm doing the rest of my essay, but um, yeah, I'm not feeling too good right now. <laughs> but that has been day one of this two day assessment or two and a half day assessment however you want to judge it <laughs> um, but that's where I'm at right now so I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow okay good night so it is the morning after and I am in a really bad way my voice is completely gone every time I sneeze I feel like I'm being shot in the throat my bones ache. I was freezing cold last night even though I had a fluffy blanket around me. I'm just in a in super bad way. I don't even know how I'm going to get this exam done. Um, I'm going to try my best but it's not looking good. So yeah, that's where I'm at, at the moment. I've just freshened up, had some breakfast, had some medicine. So hopefully that will start to kick in. But um, as it stands right now, I'm not in a good way. I don't know what to do. I don't feel like productive. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try my best to get this um, exam done and just get it over and done with because I physically just can't do anything right now. <laughs> Links is here. But yeah, that's my little update for you guys. Right now I'm not even cold. Now I'm like sweating and like hot and then in like 10 or 20 minutes I'm gonna go freezing cold again yeah this is horrific I don't even know what I've got um, so I'm just taking any medicine to see what works but yeah <laughs> it is not looking good but I'll update you guys when I do some work I'm gonna take a little bit of a break right now just to kind of get in the zone and like get my head in the space I guess um, but yeah that's where I'm at so I'll see you guys when I do some work Okay, it is time to do some work. Um, I've just been sitting in my bed um, for a few hours. Um, not, not too long, just two hours. Just to kind of rejuvenate and get that uh, well-rested feeling because I did not have a good night last night. I kept waking up uh, freezing cold and boiling hot. Um, so it wasn't great. And then I left my alarm on from university um, for 7.40 in the morning. So when I finally did fall asleep, my alarm woke me up at 7.40. <laughs> and at that point, I think I'd only had like two hours of sleep. So that wasn't good. Um, so I kind of just sat in my bed for a couple hours to kind of rest and recuperate. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I think the meds have started to kick in um, and I feel a little bit more rested. So I'm going to start my work now. Um, I'm going to 
I'm trying to think, should I look over my first essay first? No, so I'm gonna start straight in with the second essay. I'm not gonna look at anything of my first essay. Um, just because I don't want it to sway my writing and I also don't want to get sucked into that and spend too much time on that without even starting my second essay. So I'm just going to jump straight into my second essay, write all of it and then check both of them over later tonight and maybe submit later tonight or tomorrow morning. I haven't decided yet but yeah that's the plan for now so I'm gonna get a head start on that and start annotating the article. So this second essay is based on um, racism and how those um, who have experienced racism and those who are just generally um, in ethnic minority groups um, have less equal opportunities and are um, facing prejudice um, from loads of different domains. So um, for example within the private renting domain landlords are like only um, not advertising to but are only selecting like tenants with certain typifications so like white middle class tenants um so that's some of the quotes in here and then the others were about um like um two people renting somewhere um and then um the person who was part of an ethnic minority was just not getting any kind of reciprocity in the conversation there the vendor was only talking to the white um, presenting person so yeah a lot of prejudice in here mainly about renting yeah it's pretty much all just about renting um, some of it is about university racism too but for the most part it's about renting so it shouldn't be too hard to write about because there are so many theories based on like in-group out-group um, and the effect of that on prejudice and discrimination. So I think it should be okay for the most part. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick out a couple quotes and relate it to a theory. So I have completed both of my essays. I don't think they're to a great standard but I do have something down on paper at least so if worse does come to us tomorrow I'm at the deadline um, and I just can't think of anything else or I can't think of anything else to add I can just send that off knowing that I've at least completed the questions and completed the assignment enough to hand in even though it may not be my best piece of work um, but my brain is just blank right now um, I didn't record it in this video but I did record it in a separate video um, in the middle of completing this exam earlier today I received <laughs> Oh my god! Which I was ecstatic about. I was having a good old cry about it. Um, but yeah, so my head's just been all over the place and I haven't been able to work. And I literally just started like returning to my essay uh, not too long ago because I just physically couldn't get my head straight. I was so excited, but I'm also sick as well. So that was a interesting combo. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I've completed both of my essays. Um, not to the best of my abilities I don't think but my head is scrambled so I think I'm gonna call it there for today and then tomorrow or maybe later today who knows most likely tomorrow um, I will go over my essay see if there's anything else I want to add or if there's anything else that I've missed and um, with some new fresh eyes hopefully I'm feeling better as well and if not I will submit those essays but as it stands right now, I don't think I'm going to be doing any more work. I'm going to take a nice chill out evening and celebrate, I guess, <laughs> and just relax. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. This is all my annotations, my workstations, essay plans, essays, articles. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to go and celebrate with my family and have a nice relaxing evening 
and submit this tomorrow. I'm aiming for maybe 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. to submit it because I feel like if I submit it around the actual deadline of 12 p.m. turn it in, which is the plagiarism checker, will take a significant amount of time and I don't want to be waiting in the queue to submit it. Um, so I think I'm going to aim for 11 a.m. tomorrow to have it all sent off. So I will see you guys either later today or tomorrow. All right, bye guys. So it is the last day to submit my essay or essays. Um, I ended up writing both of the essays last night, but I didn't submit it because I wanted to give it one last look over today. So I'm going to add a couple more sentences to my final essay that I just thought of. Um, and then give them both a read through and see where I end up. But yeah, today is my last ever day of assignments and my last ever day overall of my undergraduate degree, <laughs> which is crazy to think about. But yeah, let's get this done. <laughs> my mental deadline in my head is 11 to 11.30 latest. So it gives me about just less than an hour to get everything sent off, um, depending on how long the turn it in plagiarism checker takes. Um, but I'm hoping to get it sent off by 11.30 latest. So let's get started. So it is 11.30 on the dot. Um, well, this is 11.29, but it's actually 11.30. And I have finished my essays, um, so I'm just handing it into the plagiarism checker, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. And then by the time that comes through, I'll just submit it straight away. I ended up adding all of the extra stuff that I wanted to add. Um, like, um, I just wanted to add an extra like bit of practical application and evaluation. So after adding that and kind of fixing the layout, I think I'm happy with where it's at. I'm just handing this into the plagiarism checker and hopefully it will come back clear. Time to submit my last ever assignment. <laughs> oh my gosh. Done. That is my last ever assignment and a technical last ever day of my undergraduate degree, concluding my four years here at BCU. We did it! It's over! <laughs> All done. My camera died. Um, but yeah, I have handed in my last ever assignment of my undergraduate degree, which concludes my four year adventure here at BCU, concludes my four year degree, um, my last ever assignment. We did it! We're finally through, we're at the end of the road. All that's left to do is sit until graduation and hopefully receive a good grade and then on to the next adventure, hopefully. Pursuing but that has been my experience, um, how I tackle exams. Essentially, I just spent like the first day getting acquainted with the STEM and then I make detailed essay plans across one to two days, which is the biggest bulk. Then I spend like the next however long I have writing the actual exam and essay. That has been my system for the last four years. That's how I've been securing my grades and that's what works for me. That concludes this four-year adventure. I am finally over with with my four-year degree. It's done. <laughs> we did it. Yay. My degree is over. Yay. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for tuning in these last four years. Hopefully you have a great morning, evening or night and see you at graduation. <laughs> Goodbye.